Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, the Dame of All Trades, and I'm here for a drum roll. Thrift haul! Yeah, it's been a long time since I've made a video. I haven't even made a vine. I haven't done anything productive when it comes to videos in a long time. And I don't know, maybe I'm just burnt out from being in school, but since I've been graduated for like the last four or so months, I'm ready to finally get out there and start making videos. I mean, if I'm feeling sad or if I'm feeling, you know, like I just want to go shopping and spend some money on go thrifting because I don't feel as bad. I mean, for one shirt at Forever 21, I could get six pieces at the thrift store. I know a lot of people are intimidated by thrifting because a lot of times the organization is lacking. It's just like too much. It does take time. You do have to you know, dive in and really search for that treasure. I just wanted to show you a, a thrift haul that I did probably, honestly, maybe even a month ago. Maybe even more than a month ago. They're just been on the floor next to my computer for the longest time. And every time I'm off, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make that thrift haul video. But then I just end up laying in bed or doing something completely not productive like I should be doing and whatnot. I wanted to make this video for this Thursday's blog post um because i try to keep all my thrift related posts on thursdays which i like to call thrifty thursdays so the thrift store that i got these clothes from it's called thrift giant located in dallas the general area that this store is located in is 635 and 35. there's a harry hines actual exit for thrift giant right before you get to 635 so you can completely avoid that unnecessary and brutal traffic that is pretty much there it doesn't even matter if it's midnight the traffic there is just terrible so I avoid 635 at all costs. So Thrift Giant likes to send out text messages uh, about different sales that's happening in their stores. And about once a month or during holidays and whatnot, they usually will have the entire store 50% off. The best time to go shopping during the 50% off days is of course going to be when they first open at nine o'clock because you know, a lot of folks come in there and a lot of folks mean business. Like whenever I arrive, I see multiple people literally walking out with black garbage bag full of clothing it's perfect because thrift store prices are already pretty cheap and then everything is 50 percent off you don't even have to worry about going through and making sure and seeing if that color tag is you know that day is 50 percent off or if it's 75 percent off or whatever you don't even have to think you just see it and you're like all right it's half of this price it's super easy i probably got there at like four o'clock in the afternoon because honestly it takes me an extremely long time to get out of my house because if I'm not working, I just really enjoy doing nothing and I have to push myself to actually get out there even if it's something fun that I know I'm going to enjoy like thrifting. So I get out there around 4 o'clock and uh, it's pretty busy, not as busy as I would probably imagine it being during 9 o'clock in the morning. I, I bet you people go in there and are even waiting at the door for them to open to take advantage of these prices. I mean, come on. One of the p pieces that I bought is this it's kind of like a jumper or a denim overall dress. I'm not really sure what to call it. I never know the name of actual clothing items. I just know that this is a dress, okay? And uh, what's really cool is it has these like leather straps right on the very top and then it's just buttoned all the way down. Now, the only problem with this is that it's a little bit small for me because I bought in this kid's section, but it looked like it would fit and it pretty much does, but if I'm gonna wear this, I can't be like eating cheeseburgers or anything. Like it has to be like, I'm not going to be wearing this for a long time during the day because I could already see the buttons like snapping off after I eat a burger or something like that. So uh, yeah, so if I continue working out, maybe, you know, just tighten up everything, I could probably start wearing this with uh, bandos or crop tops or anything like that. I think that would be a really fun summer look. Not to mention, it's kind of almost, it's a really definitely like kind of like a vintage denim because it almost looks acid washed, but it's not. But you rarely see denim that's actually this kind of... Uh, color but it's coming back um it would easily be even lightened if you prefer a light kind of wash just with a uh, bleach in the spray bottle and then you just spray directly onto the fabric and then wash it out and it'll be much lighter and since it already has like kind of like that acid look on the denim uh it'll kind of carry through plus it has pockets but the pockets are like up here because it's it's a little small for me i do that all the time i don't I have a pretty good idea of like visually looking at clothes and seeing if they're going to fit me or not, but stuff like this, it's kind of, $1.50 is worth taking the chance. Because uh, most thrift stores don't have bathrooms and most thrift stores don't have fitting rooms, so you just kind of have to and deal with all of that. 
Uh, have you ever been in a bathroom in a thrift store? They're pretty much the most disgusting thing ever. Almost as bad as porta potties. And porta potties are the worst. I I would rather just go behind a bush or a tree or out in public with everyone watching me than go to the bathroom in a porta potty because those are super gross. But anywho, not talking about potty talk right now. Let's get back to our thrift haul. Another kind of trend that I've really been liking uh, is the pleated high-waisted like cheerleading skirts or even tennis skirts so I've been looking in thrift stores for quite a while now looking for a cheerleading outfit well not necessarily the cheerleading outfit more specifically the uh, the skirt that goes with it but uh, I have this like weird fascination or obsession or just I just like it uh, having my Xbox avatar and being able to dress up like my avatar and currently my avatar is dressed in a cheerleading outfit, combat boots, and Princess Leia buns and I'm pretty sure I could definitely do that now especially with this new outfit. Here is the top. Uh, it says FHS. I don't know what school that is. It could be Fris Frisco High School. I have no idea. I probably won't wear this unless I'm just dressing up to be like my avatar. So That'll be there. I mean, you never, you really never know what you're going to wear. And sometimes you're like, oh my goodness, you know, a year from now, two years from now, you'll be like, I forgot that I have this and I could totally wear it. Or I could even be something cliche like a zombie cheerleader because who hasn't done that before? Here's a skirt and it fits perfectly. I'm really excited to wear it. Now, unfortunately, it's not black, even though my webcam for my computer isn't that great quality. Uh, it's a navy color, gold and then white. But it fits perfect and I'm really excited to wear it. I would probably pair this with my high top white platform, platform chucks. Those are probably one of my favorite shoes. I love anything platform. Anything platform, platform. Because I'm a short person at five foot. <laughs> my life is pretty difficult. I just need, need the extra height, okay? Just, just give it to me. Just let me have it. So another thing that I've been really enjoying, especially, you know, summer's going to be here soon. And it's already it's already almost May and that means we have maybe two weeks of like not 100 degree temperatures I mean I this week's already in the 80s and for me I'm like the 80s are hot and it reminds me of terrible times that we will soon be a reality for us all uh, I wear a lot of crop tops because I wear a lot of high-waisted pants and they're pretty thin so it's hard to really tuck in a lot of my shirts without having to like wrap them around under my legs and make it to where there's not this weird bulge around my butt and my hips in the front it's weird and also the fact that I've been buying a lot of clothing that obviously doesn't fit me like children's shirts that are size 6 now they fit me because I have like a small top part of my body but um, the arms would like suffocate and like cut off the circulation so I need my arms so I just usually cut the sleeves off and uh, just crop top sleeveless top takes things you know tank tops sleeveless shirts whatever they're called i bought this one it's just a really awesome black shirt that says outlaws on it and on the back it says fox 22. now i'm i'm wearing a sports shirt right now it says hawks but this is like a it has like little holes kind of like a jersey and then on the back i don't even know what it says you probably can't even see it either because a chair was in the way i just like the the kind of sporty trend but i kind of put it in my way anything black really works for me anything that's like sheer or see-through also works for me so this shirt was a no-brainer in buying i got this at a thrift store too so i bought this and i was like yeah heck yeah outlaws that sounds dangerous i'm a villain you know i'm part of the dark side clearly obviously I'm on the dark side because I'm a villain. This is a pretty cool shirt, Outlaws. I'm going to cut it up into just the crop top and then cut the sleeves off. So that'll be an easy look. Speaking of easy looks, for the summer, I usually am pretty lazy because it's incredibly hot outside and I hate sweating. So I like to wear like loose items and I'll pair it with something simple like tights. Now, I bought this shirt. It's 100% silk, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna, my body's gonna kind of react to that during the hotter days. But for right now, I think that it's a fun shirt. It's just this um, tropical, almost, yeah, I guess it's pretty tropical. It's just interesting because the colors to me are more of fall colors. You know, it has like this olive green and then this like golden kind of yellow reds and whatnot, but 
I think that I'll be fine with a pair of like black tights or anything like that. And this is something that I could wear just going to the grocery store or even just like grabbing a quick beer because I'm bored of being at home. You know what I mean? So easy, quick look for the summer. Yeah, why not? Uh, of course, I wish it was a black, but you know, I'll take what I can get. All right. So another thing that I've been uh, looking for are like summer dresses and loose maxi dresses and whatnot because it's just kind of hard when it's really hot outside to wear constricting clothes like i need my body to feel like it's getting some kind of breeze or air or i'll just stay home so i bought this cute black it's like more of a midi it doesn't go all the way down it's just a black background with white pink and yellow flowers and it's super simple I see myself wearing this dress with uh, a vest and also a pair of you know some booties or whatever so yeah it's pretty cute I'll give you a little close-up of the fabric it's pretty nice i'm really excited to wear it but i haven't worn it yet since oh, goodness gracious this like last few weeks has been like 50s 40s raining hail 80s who knows you never know what kind of weather you're gonna have uh, in Texas, especially during the months of spring, spring and fall. Spring and fall is just like, I don't even know what it is. It's just crazy times. Make sure you have your winter clothes out and also your summer clothes because you never know. Every day could be different. I bought this really awesome pink Komodo Island shirt and it has this great Komodo dragon right on the top just hanging out. And uh, on the back what's great is it has like a map as well. So I really enjoy pairing them with a pair of high-waisted pants or high-waisted shorts. And what's great about tops like this is that it has enough character to stand alone. Uh, you don't need to, you know, wear a crazy bottom or a patterned bottom if you're just trying to go for something simple. Like this, I could wear with my black jeans or even a pair of black shorts. A black skirt doesn't matter, you know what I mean? So it stands alone and it's interesting enough and it's fun. Just a fun pink top. Plus, it's better than wearing just black during the heat. You know, I know I'm just talking about the heat, but I'm just really not looking forward to sweating my buns off anymore. I'm just over it. I'm done. <sighs> but yeah, so not black, and it'll be better for the heat. It won't absorb as much of that warmth into my skin. Yeah, I'm really excited to make some more videos. I finally installed all of the programs on my computer. I finally have my webcam going just for easy updates. I should just be making more videos for y'all. We need to get to know each other again because it's been so long. You know, I, I used to make videos all the time. I used to be the one, you know, everywhere I went, I would be just be taking videos and videos and just like making quick edits of, you know, me and my friends or me goofing off in the house by myself. So I'm trying to get back to that now that I have a lot more free time. I look forward to it, y'all. Check out the blog. Uh, the best way to get there, you can either do the thedameofalltrades.blogspot.com or if you want to go through my portfolio, go to the thedameofalltrades.com. I bought a domain name, so check that out, and uh, I'll see y'all later, okay? So thanks for watching. Have a great day.